Hey everybody, welcome to Polymer Clay TV. It's Kira and I have a really fun gift idea for you today. So I was looking through magazines and I saw this awesome thing called a cord keeper, which essentially looks like a little taco and you can wrap your cords up in it and throw it in your purse and it's a way to keep track of your things such as your headphones. So if you'll notice, this is a um, taco shaped piece of clay and totally can toss this around, throw it in your purse. I'm gonna show you how to do this using souffle clay, which is a new um, formulation by the people who make Sculpey and Primo, it's a polyform product. And if you'll remember in a past video, I showed you the um, amazing properties of this clay to spring back into the shape that you baked it in because it is it has really good memory retention so I'm going to show you how I did this really quick because this is such a quick fun project you can make a whole bunch of these in one sitting I impressed a little design with a stamp and now I used a big cookie cutter. This is a two and a half incher to cut a circle. And now I'm going to use a um, stick. This is a Kemper tool, but you could even use a pencil. And I'm just going to wrap the clay around it gently and make sure that it's holding on to that curve because that's what's going to hold your cord. And you can even very lightly press this and then you're just going to twist it off the stick, make sure it stays in that shape, and put it on your baking tray. Now, when it comes out of the oven the first time, you might want to use a blade or something and just gently slide it up in here to open it up. Okay, and then it'll, it'll pop right open. So, next we're going to put the designs on it, and for that I am going to show you how magic transfer paper works because we haven't shown one of those in a while and we do get questions about it often. So <clears throat> these are little pieces that have been cut, printed on a laser printer and cut out of magic transfer paper. You might need some cookie cutters of various sizes, You're, you'll need your clay blades, that kind of thing, just simple tools. Okay, and what you'll do is you'll roll some ecru or white clay, and this is just um, Primo Acru clay, to a thin setting. This is to a number four on the pasta machine, and cut out some shapes to go with whatever you want to do. And I have here <clears throat> a dragonfly and the word dream, and you'll notice the word is printed out backwards. If you print your words on the magic transfer paper forwards, these will transfer backwards, and that's no good. So you need to print it out backwards and I'm just going to take this piece of clay right here is the one I'm going to work with and I've got <clears throat> my dragonfly cut a little short here because I want the word dream to go across up here so I'm gonna put this on here cut off the excess clay and you always want to work with magic transfer paper with as little paper and the clay cut to the right size as possible I'm gonna press it on and make sure it adheres to my already baked piece. And then I'm just going to put my magic transfer paper face down on it, make good contact and start rubbing. And this is called burnishing. Okay, so that it sticks, gets nice and stuck. You want it to make full contact And the best thing about magic transfer paper is that it can follow a curve. So we're going to go ahead and put some clay up above here and go over the curved top <clears throat> of the taco of clay. And, and you might have to like warm it up a little, just make sure that it's getting good and stuck. And then we're going to take the word face down and stick it on there and go around. See that? Go around your curve and then we're going to hold that on and rub 
get it good and stuck. Make sure as you go around curves that you really are making good contact and that it's getting stuck on the clay. Okay, and you can see I'm rubbing pretty hard. I mean, I'm not like squashing the clay, but I'm making really good contact and rubbing and making sure that the paper is sticking to the clay. And you can see the paper kind of changes color as it picks up the oils from the clay. And here's where the magic comes in. I've got some water here and I'm going to dunk this in my water. And watch the paper start to disintegrate. Now if I were at home like you and not in my studio filming, I would run this under a stream of gentle water in your sink. Okay, but you see how the paper is starting to come off? And I'm just swishing it gently and then just let it dry on your baking sheet. Here's another one real quick that I did with a bird. And just let the paper start to disintegrate and then gently swish either in your bowl or under a running stream of water. until the paper has come off and you're left with the design. Don't pat it dry, just allow it to drip dry. Let it dry on your baking thing and then put them all in the oven. And when you're done, you'll have a really fun little piece of artwork. This is meant to be a clip to hold onto a wire or a headphone set or whatever in your purse, a charger maybe, some kind of wire that gets all wrapped up in everything and you want to have a spot for it. And the best part about magic transfer paper is that it can go around curves. See how that's slightly curved and it's still stuck to it. And this with the word dream, you know, is on a curve and the magic transfer paper can go around the corner there. So it's very simple. You just print, cut out, stick it down on the clay, and swish it under some water, and you have a really cool transferred image to use on your clay. So many ways to use magic transfer paper. Here's a little piece of artwork that I did where the image is actually printed and transferred onto the little girl in the background and then she's three-dimensionally like in front of the background. So I hope that you have enjoyed this demonstration of magic transfer paper. Don't forget that Polymer Clay Adventure, the online virtual retreat for polymer clay, is starting in just about a week. So if you need a last-minute gift or if you were thinking about it but you haven't signed up yet, head on over there and check it out. It's really exciting. We have almost 700 people. We're just a few people shy of 700 people going on the adventure with us now. So we would really love to have you join us too. Thanks for watching Polymer Clay TV and we'll see you next time.